The quadratic formula can be used to solve a quadratic equation that's written in this form. Before determining the values of a, b, and c, the equation must be set equal to zero. Now in this example, we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve for x. Since we already have zero on one side, we're able to go ahead and identify the values of a, b, and c. A is the coefficient on the x squared term, and in this case we have a leading coefficient of positive 1, so the value of a in this problem is 1. B is the coefficient on the x term, and in this case our b coefficient is negative 4, so that's the quantity that we're going to use for b. C is the constant term, which in this case is positive 1, and so the value of c that we'll use in the quadratic formula is also positive 1. Let's notice that the quadratic formula begins with x is equal to on the left-hand side. And we definitely want to start with x is equal to as a reminder that what comes out of the quadratic formula is going to be the solution or the numerical value that we plug in for x that can be plugged back into the original equation to make a true statement. So we start with x is equal to. The first thing that we see is that we have negative b in the numerator of the fraction. This negative b can also be interpreted as the opposite of b. Since our b value is negative, we're looking at the opposite of negative 4, which will ultimately end up being a positive number in that position. And then we have plus or minus the square root of. Following our formula, we now have b squared. Since we're going to plug something in for b and then square that quantity, we do want to open up parentheses right here to ensure that we square everything that's needed. Again, our b is negative 4, so we're going to be plugging negative 4 into this quantity that's being squared. And then from that we subtract the product of 4 times a times c. In for a we're going to plug positive 1, and in for c we are also going to plug in positive 1. Continuing with the quadratic formula, we have 2 times a in the denominator of the fraction, and we'll open up a hole for the quantity that gets plugged in for a, and again a is positive 1, so we're going to plug positive 1 into here. So now we just need to evaluate and see what this quantity is. I'm going to slide it down here to have a little bit more space, and we'll say that this then is going to be equal to the opposite of negative 4, which is positive 4 in this position plus or minus the square root of negative 4 quantity squared is positive 16 because the negative is also being squared and that's easier to see because the negative and the 4 are in the parentheses that's being quantity squared and from that we're going to be subtracting this product of 4 times 1 times 1 so we're subtracting 4 from 16 and in the denominator we have 2 times 1 which is just 2. I'll start the new line with x is equal to as a visual reminder that this is the solution for x, so I'm constantly aware of the left-hand side of this equation. And we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 is 12, and then we divide that by 2. Continuing to simplify, the square root of 12 can be rewritten as square root of 4 times 3, and we're still over 2. We can pull this 4 out of the radical. The square root of 4 is 2, and so we evaluate the square root of 4 to be 2 now on the outside of the radical, but we'll leave the 3 underneath because its square root is not an integer value. We still have 2 in the denominator, and this can still be simplified. So we'll wrap around one more time, again anchoring the left-hand side with x is equal to as a visual reminder of what we're trying to find, the solution that gets plugged in for x. So since 4 and 2 are both divisible by 2, we can simplify this farther. Let's split the numerator and give each of those numerator pieces a denominator of 2. As a reminder, we can't cancel over add or subtract, but we can split the numerator and then reduce each of these fractions individually. So 4 divided by 2 is just 2. We still have our plus minus, and we are able to cancel these 2's now because we're canceling over multiply. So the 2's would cancel and we'd be left with just square root 3. So 2 plus rad 3 and 2 minus rad 3 are the two solutions to this quadratic equation. They are the values that can be plugged in for x back in the original equation that would make a true statement.